It's time to hack the movies. Today, we're talking about tapes. Talking about tapes. Oh my God, Clayton's back. Hello, Clayton. Hey, Tony. Clayton, what is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, <laughs> and to hear the lamentation of their women. I thought it was, you know, my show talking about tapes, but oh, okay. Right. Uh, <laughs> yes, today we are talking about Conan the Barbarian, mm. my my second favorite Arnold film. One of the best, definitely one of the best. Yes, yes, I Predator, obviously my first, but I really like this movie a lot. This is uh, th so. This is a big, important movie for me because this mm. film. I'm actually a huge fan of the Robert E. Howard books, and I okay. know that there's some people that don't think this is, you know, the greatest adaptation. Mm. That being said, it's still the most faithful comparatively to like every other Conan thing that's happened. But it's also, I genuinely think this is a ex extremely good filmmaking score. Arnold gives a pretty fucking believable performance. The best performance he could at that time. But it's also <laughs> for what Conan is, yes. which is more than just, you know, uh, it's more than just a witty one-liner spewing. Yeah. This is not like True Lies Arnold or Terminator no, 2 no, Arnold no. or like even Eraser. Like Conan in the books is this guy that can speak many languages, mm. but his accent is mangled and barbaric is how they describe it. Yes. And he's just this giant hulking Sumerian dude that just slays motherfuckers. Yeah, he's he's awesome. So uh, this is as far back as I can remember, was, at, at least with live action, this is like my introduction to like sword and sorcery Me too. stuff. Yeah. Um, and because of this, I I went back and you watched even older sword and sorcery stuff like Jason and the Argonauts and a lot of the old Sinbad movies. Mm -hmm. And I got real into these like adventuring heroes fighting monsters and stuff. And it was all because of this movie. I remember my mom showed it to me when I was like really young. A uh, friend like brought it over because I guess they just got it on VHS. And like, let's watch Conan. And I'm <laughs> like, sure, I know that guy. Let's watch it. And I'm like, well, this movie's awesome. <laughs> so I actually had the reaction where I felt like I had to cut the movie off yeah. because I felt like as it got to the scene where they had a, the the girl giving herself up to be eaten by the giant yeah. snake and she's like bare breasted yeah. and Conan hacks the head yeah. off the snake and I saw that and I, I literally I had to get up I thought I was sinning and like <laughs> my dad was like my dad thought I didn't like the movie he's like you don't even give movies a chance and I'm like uh, so I went back to it a little bit after that and yeah. rewatched it completely because like this movie is so brutal. It is. It's so violent. And I think at the time before Lord of the Rings, this was the the standard when it came to any sword and sandal yeah. movie. I mean, you, you didn't like uh, Quest of the Delta Knights? What? <laughs> I'm thinking of all the like really bad sword and, sword and sorcery What do you movies. got? Krull? Or Be Beastmaster? Well, well, no, no, no. Kroll is legitimately good. Okay, really? Yeah. Zardoz? Like, what That's is not Sword and Sorcery. But, like, Beastmaster, Beastmaster is okay, too. I would, I, it has nothing on Conan the Barbarian. No, it doesn't. It mm. doesn't. It doesn't. Fuck you. Kroll. Kroll is awesome. Did Kroll, Kroll have that, is, like, that, uh... The Glaive? <laughs> oh yes. I re I I legitimately <laughs> love the movie Kroll. Okay. Um, Does this someone turn into like a, a tiger or something in that movie? Like, look, as much as I would love to talk about Kroll. Okay, let's get on to this. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, you're right. It was better than a lot of those movies. I'm thinking like Ator. Yeah, you said that earlier. I don't yeah. know what the fuck that is. What was the other one? Oh, God. There's ones that have like awesome covers and then you watch them. And they're just bad Italian better movies. Than Ishtar. That's for damn No, sure. it's not Ishtar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah. And like you, I've gone back. I got like the audiobook on Audible of like mm. this collection of Robert E. Howard Conan stories. Did you read them in order or did you read them in like um, whatever the order they put it in? I have the old paperbacks where they kind of they, they go through like the history of his life. Yeah. So the audiobook does that. Good. Yeah. It'll tell you like what Robert E. Howard was doing at that point in his life that inspired this story. Oh, that, uh, that's it, pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. It tells you it, sh it reads you earlier stories from other characters like uh, Solomon Kane. Call um, the Conqueror, or Cole, call, call Cole, the Fabulous Warrior King, as yes. like they call him. Yeah, Cole, and um, there was another one. 
Uh, there's a really good one about like a dead wizard. That was really cool. There's a, there's one that's like kind of like a darker version of Flash Gordon. Yeah. Uh, God, I, I have the book Al Murek, I believe is how it's pronounced. Okay. There's okay. lots. There's lots of stuff. Yeah. So I went, um, now it's been a few years. I listened to most of it. Uh, a lot of these stories. It's just a collection of the stories. Um, don't ask me for specifics. They're all blending together in my head. They're now. all very similar stories. Yes, but yeah. they, I really, really, as someone who loved the movie, I'm like, all right, well, because you're right, fans of the movie don't really... Fans of the books are kind of split on this movie, It I depends. Think. Yeah, because the movie actually does adapt a lot of early Conan stories. Yes. Like, it came... I think it's called It Came From the Crypt. Okay. And there's other stuff, like, like when he gets the sword, only mm. in the story, like, the skeleton comes to life and stuff. Yeah. There's other stuff that they adapt, and uh, I personally... I mentioned, to the, you, uh, I mentioned this to you earlier... This movie is similar in the way like Spider-Man or Batman mm. 1989 were in that they they changed some things and they did like a yeah. broad adaptation. Yeah. But the soul of the character is still there. And I think Yeah, especially in this, yeah. Yeah, I definitely think they captured not only Conan but the world of Hyperborea really well. Mm. Thulsa Doom, not so much. Well, we'll get to Thulsa yeah, Doom. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. However, uh so behind the scenes uh, this was directed by John Milius, who yes. wrote Dirty Harry. A, I think he helped write Magnum Force, too. Yes, and Apocalypse Now, and Red Dawn. And the original script was written by Oliver Stone. John. Milius. Yes, there were several different drafts. Yeah. John Milius and his daughter are fucking badass. Yeah. I think that they can... Dude, I have the Cinefantastique like, magazine that mm -hmm. goes over like how he's making the movie and everything. Mm. And he will tell you... like. There is so much. I can't even. We're gonna have to go. I, I know a lot about this shit that okay, you probably don't know about. But like, that's fine. I really love the way that they. Like I said, I didn't have time to like watch the special features or listen to the hilarious commentary track. Mm. Have you ever listened to it? Yeah, a long time ago. Is that with John and Arnold? Yeah, yeah. And uh, Arnold is just telling you what's happening in the movie. This is where I get away from the wolves. Yeah, and then John <laughs> Millions he keeps talking about uh, Valerie. He's like, she looks like a Valkyrie. Yeah, she's like yeah. A Valkyrie. <laughs> yeah, he says that over and over again. Just like two horny guys. Like, yeah. right. um, but yeah, I, I watched it years ago. I, in college, I got like re I re I rediscovered the movie again from yeah. my youth, and I actually like got like real into it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and uh, for the fans of our Alien reviews. Uh, Ron Cobb did yes. a lot of the production design on this because of what happened in Alien. So Star Wars comes out as big. Mm -hmm. Suddenly everyone's just like, what other fantasy action stuff do we have? And I guess someone had Conan the Barbarian. They're like, let's get it out there, baby. Yeah. Was it, was it Dino? Was it Dino? D Dino De Laurentiis was Oh, involved. it was Dino De Laurentiis. There he is. Absolutely. And I, it's funny because... Sometimes he's like hit or miss, man. Like he really is. I always talk about it. like he's the one Italian producer who can put <laughs> out good stuff in America. He's not just putting out constant shit. I like Orca, and I know like he. I like Orca too. I like his King Kong, the first one. I don't like that movie. Uh, you know he fun. apparently wanted to do King Kong versus Orca. Yes, uh, Joe from Movie Dumpster has like a fake mock-up of VHS tape. I that think, is of it. insane to me. But anyways, he he he's guilty of doing guilt, uh, Conan the Destroyer too so like look he's not immune to <laughs> but this is an incredible movie like yes yeah and uh yeah let's go through this movie so Absolutely. it starts off with a quote by Nietzsche yep uh that what does not kill us makes us stronger this movie was criticized a lot when it came out as being believe it or not having fascist undertones and also being overly violent which is an none of the violence yeah understandable critique I didn't pick up on but the reason they said that was because at the time, and this is something that John Milius did talk about, he baked into the movie. Like, mm. the movie is a, it's a backlash to the hippie cult. Like, okay, yeah, I see that. They, they specifically, and I think politically at the time, maybe not politically, that's mm. the wrong word, but like, the the world was changing in the early 80s mm. as like a backlash to a lot of these policies that had, and I don't even mean like, I, I'm talking about the way people acted. Yeah. Like, there was a rejection of the 1960s and 70s uh now the peace and love sort of thing yeah because yeah. it was viewed as like what was that michael j fox show on at the time where he critiqued his mom and dad about that all the time oh like, i forget the name but, of you, it. but you know what i mean like yes. it's a flip of the roles yeah so you know you have the pendulum swing one way and back yeah. this movie was criticized by a lot of the people that were like oh this is a this is an anti uh good movie this is a this is a movie about glorifying male uh, vengeance and fascism. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, 
But it's just the story. But not fascism. Well, I've not seen a lot of fascism. It was though. weird. It's a weird critique. Yeah. I always took Conan I don't the pick, Barbarian. I don't pick Conan as a fascist, but well, all right. it starts with the Nietzsche quote, right? Which yeah. Nietzsche's a famous philosopher that deals in like cynicism or like nihil- yeah. nihilism specifically. Yeah. yeah. So Conan lives in a fucking nihilistic world. Oh, yeah. It is basically Sodom and Gomorrah. Like, yeah. it is that time period. Well, yeah. I mean, people are like, oh, he's violent and stuff. I'm like, yeah, look at that, the world and he inhabits. Yeah, he that, has to be. That was the world. And like, um, and it goes along really greatly. I love the fact it opens up with that. That which does not kill us makes us sh- stronger. Mm. There's also something in this movie called uh, the Riddle of Steel, which we'll yes. get into later. Well, we'll get into there's yeah. very there's different interpretations of what the Riddle of Steel is. The novelization that was uh, adapted from the movie, written by Elsprog de Camp and Lynn Carter, I believe, yeah. who helped uh, re-edit Robert E. Howard material gives an answer to it. Okay, I want to know what yeah. the answer yeah. is because there's different. I know Thulsa Doom gives his answer. And, and then Conan's father gives his there, answer. There's other ways you can like interpret it, like what the seal. Anyway, let's let's get into it. Uh, the wizard is our narrator. Yes, he's great. Yes, uh, <laughs> Mako. It is I, his chronicler, who alone can tell thee of his saga. Mm. Uh, from the time before yeah. the blah blah blah. Uh, drank it that and the rise of the sons of Arius. <laughs> he's great in this, and his voice yeah. is just perfect. Yes, yeah. he's great. But he uh, gives us a little intro into Conan. And then we get this amazing credits uh, with uh, the building of Conan's sword. Yeah. And uh, the, Conan's father's sword. The music and it's is... The Basil Polder- Pol- Poldoris. Basil. B-Man. Yeah. Uh, his score is just phenomenal I in think this. it's another reason this movie was considered... But before Lord of the Rings, you were like, okay, you've got to see like... Because Conan was... The production design, you've got the actual philo- philosophical undertones to the mm. movie, um, and you've got... At the time, no one looked like Arnold in no. movies. And you combine that with the music. This movie has very limited dialogue, too. Yes. And what's said well, is always Well, impacting. I mean, this is after, Clay, and this is after Hercules. And I know, but <laughs> like, but for this movie, from start to finish, like, you've got that uh, philosophical opening, the forging of the sword. Yeah. The music is just, and that montage is great, too, because you see the daily lives of this villagers in yeah. Samaria. And, uh. Conan's mom, you know, helping like make the sword and everything. Yeah, she's it's, awesome. It's a great opening to a movie. Yes, and it, like I said, the score is great. Um, uh, what's not so great is the blue screen that they're on. Yeah, yeah really bad. <laughs> it's a little, it's yeah. a rough blue At screen. At the time, I guess that, I, see, I have a, I get into arguments with people because we talked about Prophecy mm. in 1979 where I was like, dude, this movie. Oh, yeah. The, I reviewed Prophecy. The special yes. effects are horrible. Yes, they're they, terrible. And they were bad back then. Yeah, and they ruined that movie. Yeah, Roger Ebert said a Godzilla is a Godzilla. And that's what he called like the yeah. bear in Prophecy. Well, or Prophecy the bear movie, not the Prophecy no, for Walking. No, that's different. But yeah. like yeah, that's I, a good movie. But I, anyway, keep I going. actually do like that movie. <laughs> it's uh, movie. I've never seen the sequels. Uh but like the blue screen, I wonder if it was that bad at the time too. Because wow. I've seen a lot. Dragon Slayer has some rough blue screen too. Yes. Well, even Return of the Jedi has some rough blue screen. Batman and Robin, moves. where Alicia Silverstone. Well, that's is like, a little bit later. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's just weird. They wouldn't just do this outside unless this was a reshoot or something. Could have been maybe like an added scene. Mm-hmm. Um. But yeah, he's telling him. It's like, hey, listen. Let me tell you about Krom. He's our god. Yes. Very uh, important. He's very important and awesome. He and also in the books. Arnold always Crom, like yeah, it's an uh, By Crom, yeah. um, Crom and Mitra, uh, which we call it. I think like Superman adopted some of that because like uh, in Superman comics, you know the Krypton Sun is Rao. Oh yeah, and a lot maybe, of times yeah. there's third times where like Superman and Superhero will be like great Rao or something like that. Uh, I wonder if they got that from they this. Could have the Crom, but he's like yes, Crom is our god. He lives in his mountain. Uh, he will ask you the riddle of steel. If you don't know it, he'll cast you out of a hollow. Yes, laughing. but he's just like, yes, let me tell you about steel, kid. This is the one thing you can trust. Not, wi- not men, not women, not, not beasts. beasts. This, you, this can you can trust. trust. He's pointing to the sword. Mm-hmm. And then it's just like, okay, is that the riddle of steel? Like you can only Which trust makes sense. I mean, like only it, trust the sword. Only trust yourself with the steel. Like, but but that's the thing. Is it the actual sword or is it? I yourself think he's talking the about the sword. Yeah. But like, yeah. Basically he's saying be dependent on yourself. Yes. Which yeah. I like. I like that about it. It sets movie. the seat. It's like Talladega Nights. She ain't first, you left. <laughs> <laughs> and I like that the movie never flat out gives you an answer. No. So but- it's it's open to interpretation. Um, but yeah, then we get the Riders of Doom. 
Yeah. And fucking Basil's going overboard with the, the soundtrack here. I've listened, I've literally, there was a time where I had a mix CD and this was on it. Do you ever listen to it when you're working out? Yeah. It is cool. I, I've like <laughs> woken up in the mornings and I would just blast this in my car on my way to school and mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Like, hell yeah. Like, bah, 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 bah. yeah. Really gets it going. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the Riders of Doom come and they just like wipe out the town. And like you said, it's bloody. It's, it's very violent. violent. And I love the fact that they actually give a personality to each of the characters who you don't know their names yet. And their yeah. names are barely spoken, but you know, okay, yeah. this motherfucker has a giant hammer. Yes. This dude has like this James Hetfield Metallica Hulk yes. Hogan thing going on. And he's like, that one. And yes, they uh, are very tough and badass. Yes. They have Rottweilers that are armored. They got armored Rottweilers. That and I had a Rottweiler as a kid. So I'm like, that's awesome. <laughs> They kill Conan's father. They like mutilate Conan's and it, father. And the music is really complimenting this like extremely yeah. well. So it comes down to, well, I mean, we find out that there's kids still alive, but like uh, Conan and his mother get cornered yeah. and she's like trying to fend them off. Music's uh, still going. Amazing track. Yes. And then we meet Thulsa Doom with yes. his snake helmet and his snake stuff and Okay, so Thulsa Doom in the, the books. No, he's not like He has a skeleton either. face, yes. right? He's kind of like Ghost Rider in a sense. Like, yes, and he has nothing to do with the snake stuff. That's Set, I've, right? Yeah, well, Set is the god. Set is the god. The giant snake. But there is like a snake person he fights. There's, right? Yeah, well, there's a few. There's like the serpent people cult. Uh, and there's mm. also, the, a lot of people assume that Thulsa Doom is based on Toth Amon. Okay. Um, who's a wizard. He's like Conan's, okay, Conan's yeah. rival. Yeah. But I don't. I can, I, I guess, but it's kind of hard to really say that. Yeah. Uh, what, what I do really like about this movie is that at, at the very beginning, Mako says between the times when the ocean sank Atlantis yeah. and the, and so Thulsa Doom takes off his helmet. Mm. And I think John Milius even spoke about this on the DVDs. Like you've got this guy that's got dark skin. Yeah. Long, straight black hair and blue fucking eyes. Yes. And it's like, and he described him as like a race that is like gone. Yeah. He is an ancient powerful being. You're right, because there, there's other black people in the movie, but none not, that not look like, like that. None and, with blue eyes and straight hair. And so he, yeah, it's and like... he talks in such like a... Yeah. That James Earl Jones is perfect in this movie. By the way, so that as a kid, so you, you see James Earl Jones in like Star Wars just doing the voice. Yes. But for this, it was like, man, you get to see him like actually... Be and on he's screen a badass. He, he doesn't fight that much. But his power in the movie yes. is so... So he's able to hypnotize. He's, well, it's the snake thing. He's yes. like, you know, and the woman, you know, the snake. There's some. There's a lot of parallels with Adam and Eve. Yeah. Sort of thing. But like, he gets her to like let her guard down and like have her neck extended for a bit and then yeah. swoosh. I, that, that like Fuck me messed up me up. Cause yeah. Because I, I have a blonde mom and I'm watching this at as the Dude, same age as Conan. The head The fall. head falling and then the body the head. And, I'm like, and I'm I love like, how he just shit. looks at it like, oh my God. And it's way more effective as if you were to see that. Don't worry, you do see heads get cut off. But uh, as, a, it, as a kid growing up, it's like. It's more effective not shit. seeing it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the head falling and then the body falling. Like, that that's... was all filmed and executed exceptionally well. Yes. Uh, but yeah, then uh, Conan, he gets sent into slavery with the other Sumerian kids and they all get separated. Yep. So as far as he knows, he's the last Sumerian. Mm. Um, but I like this because in, uh, in uh, I know everyone throws the word Mary Sue around for like films these days, but this is an old trope. Uh, and there's also the Gary Sue. Yeah, I've heard like, of oh, that Oh, this before. character is great. Or any, I don't really like any kind of I mean, other than like well, Luke Skywalker, not really. I don't really like chosen one stuff. It depends on how it's. I think it's an overused yeah. trope. But I like what I liked about Conan is he's just a dude. He's just a guy. He wasn't gifted anything. Nope. He has Last no thing his dad powers. said was just like, this you can trust. And then his whole family gets wiped yeah, out. Yeah, and he has to like literally. I mean, he gets help from people, but like he has to. It's kinda, really him. It's, it's him just, building himself up. Yeah, yeah. and I th I think what's really great about that scene where they do like s uh, they get rid of all the kids and they. By the way, you notice they've got their heads on pikes and yeah. shit when they leave. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. Um, but he gets sold to the wheel of pain. Yes. And the wheel of pain is this horrible place where they just force you to push this wheel. I assume it's like grounding, like stuff. I always thought it was doing nothing. It was just there to to breed warriors to fight. No, because I think it's grinding. It stuff. is grinding something, yeah. but like I always assumed it was just that cruel. Yeah, where like it's just fucking. I don't know. Looking at it, I'm just like. It looks scary. By the way, production design is off the chain. Yes, right, right there. No, no, no. For me, just like now, like all the bullshit I got to deal with in my life. You I'm, wish you could be chained like, to God, the wheel I of pain. I wish I could just spin a wheel all day <laughs> long. No, uh, this is fucking Clayton. This is fucking heaven to me. I'm like, I don't have to talk to anyone. 
<laughs> do anything. All it's, your friends die around you. I just <laughs> like, have to. I just have to spin the wheel all day long and then go to sleep. I'm like all, all day long. All all like decades long. He was doing that forever. He's, he's 24 in the movie, by the way. Um, uh, yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, well, that's what he's supposed to be. Okay. I don't know how that's how old he was. Um, but yeah, man, just spinning that wheel. I'm like, <laughs> that sounds great. Get, getting fucking ripped. I don't know how he worked his back. Because you'd have to, like, pull it eventually to get those giant-ass steroid-filled lats. But, like, whatever. What are, what are you, like, a personal trainer or uh, something? Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Um, they After he does the Wheel of Pain, he uh, has to pull the Crank of Doom. <laughs> that's, that's That was on the other side of the oh, okay. they, they alternate. They alternate. Right. We only ever saw the Wheel of Pain. Uh, that was at nights. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, he's spinning the wheel, just my dream life. Just, I do like how you see everyone else slowly fall away, and it's just him left. Yes. And you do see, like... We call those quitters. <laughs> they die. I assume they died. Like, either that or they were... Or they also got auctioned off. They got off. auctioned off. Yeah. So, and I love how when, you, when he lifts his head, it was like, it's fucking Arnold. Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You just see in his eyes. Because, the, like, you see the teenage Arnold, but they cover in his face. And then mm, you just see the, like, the fucking the legs fucking, coming. <laughs> here's Mr. Olympia. <laughs> um, yeah, so he spins the wheel, and then he gets sold into slavery. And he gets... Uh, As a gladiator. He becomes, like, yeah, a gladiator, like mm -hmm. a pit fighter. Yeah. And he sucks at first, but he wins. Yeah, that's actually... That's gotta be traumatic. Yes. Like, just some dude's because the guy he's fighting is like seasoned. Yes. And he's got like filed down teeth and like yes. biting him in the neck. He's like shit. into it. And yeah. Conan just somehow wins. What the fuck am I doing? And then Conan just <laughs> gets better and better at it. I love that montage too because uh, Mako's like, he did not care anymore. Yes. Like, life and death the same. Uh, oh, I love that the, the slave owner is like training him so he gets up to, with, with the swordsman who slaps him oh, around. Oh yeah, yeah, that's great. <laughs> and then he just kicks the other guy. Yes, that's great. Um, and, and again, remember right then he's talking about but always he remembered the discipline of steel. Yes. And he's like, you know, this is my ticket out of here. Yes, so he learned how to sword fight. They taught him how to read and write and they they, they, they studded him. him out. He, like an animal. Yes. Like, they bred him to Although like, to be, he is like, I mean, it kind of sucks what they're forced to do because mm -hmm. he doesn't have a choice either, but he's just like, all right, let's go away from the creepy weirdos. Yeah, they like, are teaching him how to like be, well, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like he got educated. Yes. Like he, but it is crazy because they like, yeah. He's a slave. He's a fucking yes. slave, which is one of the reasons a lot of people uh, that read the books weren't a big fan of that because in the books, Conan was always a warrior of Samaria. That yeah. like he was never really a slave. Yes, I personally think for a film, because you don't really get the origin of Conan. No, like you kind of just get thrown into the stories. Well, yeah, that's you, what this this is like an origin and for I, Conan. I think it's the best origin of yeah. Conan. Yeah. I like the whole idea of being thrown into a slave and overcoming it, and the philo the philosophy of like the Nietzsche quote and everything, the riddle of steel. Yes. Like it works really well. And then we get the what is best in life, which you told us earlier. Yes, what is best in life. Crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and they hear the lamentation of their women. Um, yes, and then uh, for some reason, Conan's master just lets him go. I've so the way I interpreted it initially is that like he had got to a point in his life where he just felt I don't know why, but he felt terrible about the life he was running and yeah. living. So he's like, I'm gonna let my slaves free. In the novelization, mm. Conan kills him. Oh, yeah. Like an earthquake happens and he gets stuck and he's like, Conan, help me. Yeah. He's like, fuck you. And yeah. like just leaves. It's kind of weird because he is drunk. Um, yeah. It might be he's having second thoughts. Or remember they send, Or he loved Conan. They, <laughs> that could be it. They send dogs after him to like. You know, were those well, dogs after him or were they just wild dogs? I'm pretty sure they're after him. Like this uh, is like a slave that got loose and we got to get it. Kill him or get him back. I know that is things that happen to real slaves mm -hmm. in the world, but I, I always read it that. It could as, just be wild dogs. I just always read yeah. that as they It could just, just be something dogs. he came across. Now it's funny. The wolves chasing him into the cave and stuff. I, this was reused in a Justice League Unlimited episode. Okay. There was an episode of Justice League Unlimited where he, it was like a, I think it was a multi-parter. If I'm remembering it right, let me know if I'm not. I know our audience loves to correct me if I remember things <laughs> okay. wrong. Uh, but there was like the, there were these bad guys who tried to kill Superman and they killed him. But what they really did was just transport him somewhere. Uh, so he's in this, like either the past or some alternate world where he doesn't have his powers. He's running from wolves. 
and he's running from wolves. And at some point, he gets a sword. And like the next shot, he's got wolf clothes on. I okay, think. Okay, well then, yeah. They and totally I'm like, do. oh yeah, that's pretty funny because I I love this whole scene where he goes into the cave. Yeah. Now this is meant to be Atlant. They were, the only reason I'm saying Atlantis. Not that this is Atlantis, but these are Atlanteans, is because that sword it's is an called Atlantean the Atlantean sword. sword. Yeah, um, and it, obviously it was kind of adapted from it, uh, the thing in the crypt. But yeah. also the, one of my favorite Conan stories. I hate that I can't remember the name. I told you about it earlier. No. Is where he's running from lions. Yes. and like has to go into ruins. And but yeah, this and is probably it's par- probably partially inspired mm-hmm. by. It, but uh, so he he goes into the little cave. He makes his little fire and he's like, Crom, you know. Yeah. The first time I saw the movie, I actually thought that was Crom. So, you know, I think we're meant to believe like he thinks it might yeah, be Crom. Yeah, but uh Crom. You know, he 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 takes the sword and you know he he gets the dust off of it. He's got yeah. steel. Yes. And then the head kind of like Yeah, the skeleton moves. And after bows. reading all the 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 a lot of the Robert E. Howard books, I'm like, I'm surprised that skeleton didn't come to life. Yeah, like it's supposed to attack him. But you yeah. know, he's got the sword. I love when he gets up out of the mounds and he he, he fucking cuts yeah. the the chain. Yes. It's like, dude. And I just love the next shot. He's just wearing all the wolf skin. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> oh, man. Great movie. <laughs> How do these sew it together? I don't know. But um, probably smell really bad, yeah, too. Probably yeah. smells really bad. <laughs> Maybe that. Maybe when he was learning, he learned how to upholstery stuff. Or <laughs> some stuff. one of his scrolls. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah. Uh. He meets a sexy lady, mm. and this scared the it's, shit it's a, out of me as a kid. It did me too. This sexy lady is in the Amityville Curse. It's one of the many Amityville movies. <laughs> she's a witch. Yes. And, uh, uh. So basically, he's like, uh, she's talking about snakes. He's like, what about snakes? Mm. Two snakes facing each other. Yeah. Uh, so she's like, I'll tell you about snakes if you do something for me. Yeah, yeah. So he's boning her. Uh, and she's like, I don't know why she's giving him this information because she fully intends on killing Samurai. him. Samura. Oh. She's like, you'll find what you're looking for in Samura. And then she's like, I'm Melina now. <laughs> uh, from Mortal Kombat? Yeah. I have a feeling she wanted his seed yeah. for like some sort of fucked up witch shit. Yeah, like, probably. Conan. <laughs> I think he gives it to her too. Oh. Um, <laughs> like when he throws her in the fire. Oh yeah, I, I always wonder how they did that because like that is an actress. Those are real. Flames. Yeah, they do throw her in the. Fire. I know they throw her over yeah. it, but I'm like, oh man, I would That's been stunt woman. Uh, All right, you need to get completely undressed and you're just jumping over <laughs> fire. <laughs> That is the thing. It does suck for female stunt women because there's uh, probably not that many of them. Well, no, no, there are, but it's just like <laughs> damn it, we killed we, one. <laughs> no, because like women usually wear like skirts and stuff, so the stunt women get to they have less opportunities of wearing padding in their stuff. It's oh, like especially a big, in a fire. Yeah, yeah, they they explain like I've heard stunt women like complain about they're like yeah man. Guys can wear these like long sleeve shirts, and we gotta wear short sleeves. Yeah, um, Arnold can... just fucking threw me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, then she just turns into a beam of light and laughs mm. and flies away, and then he does the crom crom. So when I'm a kid, I'm like, what the fuck just happened? So first of all, I'm getting like a pretty like rough sex scene for a kid at this point. A little, uh, like, little traumatized if you're like, that's what that's supposed to be yeah, like. So I'm getting like Shit. a sex scene that I wasn't ready for. <laughs> Uh, in a movie that's way more violent than I was ready for, and I had seen RoboCop at this point, but the violence is like a little bit more serious than this one. Yeah, way more. Uh, and then when she turned into a monster, I was like, oh, God. Yeah, I, well, I think it's the expression on Arnold. Arnold's yeah. just as freaked out. Uh, but yeah, he he tosses uh, her, and then he goes out the next day, and he meets Subutai. Subutai, yeah. Who, who is, th- is Jerry Lopez, who was a famous surfer. He's John Milius' buddy. Yes. Mr. <laughs> what do they call him? Mr. Pipeline or something? Something like that. Yeah. Uh, I think he still sells surfboards. I think he I, he lives in Bend, Oregon now. I think he does snowboarding Oh, now. cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's cool that he got him to play the role, too, because I actually, for a non-actor, he does his job pretty fucking yeah, good. Yeah, he does. Um, and also, this is the other philosoph- uh, philosophical thing about the movie is yeah. like, he asks for help. Yeah. He, he says, because he's like dinner for the fucking wolves. Yes. And I love he's like, I have not eaten in days. He's like, and who says you will? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great <laughs> Arnold quote. But he's like, just give me uh, your food so I die like fighting. Yeah. And so he sets him free because there's kind of like a, a camaraderie there. It's yeah. like freed men. Yes. And, um, and like I said, a lot of this movie is Conan just learning from people. And mm. he, he can learn something from this guy. Uh, they end up going to uh, different towns looking for Thulsa Doom's 
cult. Right. And they get information from, I believe, Ron Cobb. I think this is his cameo. Yeah, where he's selling Lizard on a Stick. Yes. Or no, that was John Milliams that John Millius that did the Lizard on a Stick that got cut. But like, oh, okay. I think they're eating it while like yeah. he's, and he, does he give them drugs? Yes. Yes, he does. <laughs> Uh, from Stygia. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they're the like, yes, he, but he's just like, um, yeah, up until a few years ago, they were just another snake cult. I'm like, oh, there's a lot of snake cults out here, there's aren't there? There's lots of cults and shit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he's telling them about like a uh, false of doom and whatnot. And he's like, yeah, their towers are full of riches. Mm, uh, yeah. But yeah, and then um, I believe Conan punches a camel. He does. They're stone. Well, I don't know what was going on in the background with like the other animals, but like yeah, there was something going on. Because like, Conan's like, look at that. Can you believe that? <laughs> that was after he uh he slut shamed some people. Cancel Conan. Am I right, dude? One of the things I really like about this movie yeah. is Conan, and I don't think people have actually thought about this, mm. but I Conan, as violent and vicious and bloodthirsty as he is, is ironically. One of the most tame people yeah. in this movie. In this universe. This, this is this is legit yeah. like the the just evil barbaric crazy times. People are doing fucking drugs everywhere. Yeah. People are prostituting everywhere. People are fucking like animals. <laughs> like, and he's just like, hey, I just I'm trying to I'm just out trying to avenge my family, and man. I, I gotta cut off a guy's head. I'm like sorry. that like he's the most like normal. Yeah. That's why when I said Sodom and Gomorrah, yeah. I literally think like that's the little time period that they're mm. trying to put it in here. Literally, if this village never got attacked, he would have just grown up making steel making stuff. Making swords and shit. Yeah. Like, living the wild, hunting, making steel stuff. But he does right. knock a camel out. He and, does punch a camel. Yeah, and uh, Very fake looking camel. Yeah. Unfortunately, in the sequel, they thought that that was something they needed to like play up on. And it's just stupid. Yeah, uh, I have not watched the sequel in a long time. It's not I, good. I've only watched it like twice. You can and totally, I remember the first time I watched him, like Conan 2, and I watched it, and I was like, no. And then I tried <laughs> to watch it like for comedy purposes years later, and I'm like, mm, I no. think the problem with that one is you can totally tell that the the sidekick is supposed to be Subatai. Yeah. And they've like recast Isn't it Mako him. Mako or? No, Mako's back. Yeah. But okay. like the other little guy with the two knives. Oh, right. And right. It, it's the comedy build. That movie, how do you go from rated R to PG? I know there was no PG-13 yet, yeah. but like, no, this is legit PG. Yeah. And we should mention at this point, Conan had transitioned into Marvel comics and stuff. Yeah, have you so, ever seen that What If? And it was like Conan with a fucking revolver. No. <laughs> I, I laughed my ass off. We I, need to make like, that. Now he's unstoppable. We need like, to make that. Um, yeah, so they uh, they go to sneak into the snake uh, mm -hmm. temple, and they meet Valeria. Yep, played, played by, by uh, Sandal, Sandal Bergman. Sandal very Bergman. attractive woman and very good role in this movie. And she's great in other movies. She's great in... I've not seen Red Sonja. Oh, no, no. She's great in Red Sonja. Okay. But no, she's great. I mentioned recently a movie called Hell Comes to Frogtown. Okay. She's really good in that. Right. I think she's in uh, The Ice Cream Man with Clint Howard, who's oh, the serial really? killer. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, she's in a bunch of movies. She's good. She's good. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's great in this. I love how her hilarious. eyes light up when she's like, uh, yeah. what fools? Like, you yeah. don't even have a rope. And, uh, yes, and it's like a uh, uh, strong female character is like solid. And I don't good. understand why people don't remember like fucking Ellen Ripley. Yeah, well, Ellen Ripley's the one everyone goes Sarah to. Sarah Connor. Yeah, but they're the two big ones that everyone goes to. But like Valeria, Valeria. is good because like you, you get a little bit of her backstory. She's like, yeah, I've been on my own for a while, so mm. I kind of had to pick up all this stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's like Conan, they immediately see each other as equals. Yes. Because yeah. he's like, well, she's a more experienced it, uh, I, thief than me. I, I think at the time, too, like if you're actually going there to fucking rob a cult of snake people, yeah. you kind of want some experience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so they all decide to team up because it'd be better to work together. Mm -hmm. And so Subutai and Arnold, uh, Conan, they go into the snake pit where all the jewels are, and yes. then she disguises herself. I love that we never see her knock out the girl. I thought she we killed her. We just see her, like, sneak up behind yeah. her. And, and, then, and by the way, again, the music here is really, yeah. really good. And while they're, like, doing their, like, uh, one of Thulsa's, like, main henchmen. Rexor. Yeah, yeah Rexor like, is, like, yeah. hypnotizing yeah. the girl. Uh, by the way, like, I love the contrast here where, like, um, Sandal Bergman, she's really good at, like, sneaking in and going in on notice, and it's a fun contrast to later on. 
uh, yeah, where for Conan sure. tries it. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, doesn't work out so well. Yeah, I have in my notes for later on. I'm like, Conan would not be good in the game Hitman. No, <laughs> no. My biggest issue with this entire film is, yeah. is a, a special effect, yeah. and it is the snake. You don't like the snake? I don't like the shot of the snake when it opens its mouth and you see the fangs come out. To me, it's... Oh. No, I like the 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 killing of the snake. Yeah, is incredible. The snake is cool. When I first saw it, I'm like, is the snake real? No, I always it's just sleeping. It but. was oh no, when it's sleeping and shit, it's cool. Yeah. And when it's like wiggling around after it Conan is, yeah, it it when it pulls its head up, you that's can tell the that, one thing you can tell they had a problem with it, getting the head up. It's like that scene in Jaws where it jumps on the boat. Yeah, the it's like a little. It, you know, there's like one scene in these movies. Yeah. Like, I can even pick something in Jurassic Park. Like I mean, now it would look great. Yeah, well, they wouldn't have to deal with that. Yeah. But like like what was that shitty uh the, the 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 one Harry Potter movie I liked had a big snake in it. The second one. Sure. Yeah. And I'm like, "All right, that would have been cool if they had that level like, of stuff." That but level I think it works. Stuff. They made they made it like a quick scene. Yeah, it works for the time. I, I just think it's that one shot of it raising its head, but Conan yeah. fucks this snake's day up. Yeah, he like <laughs> immediately stabs it. And then sometimes I like, and I Shoots like snakes, so this always made me feel sad. But yeah, he like <sighs> arrows it, and then they chop the head off. And I just, I feel bad for the girl who goes to sacrifice herself. Yeah, and she's like, she ah. breaks her leg. She's like, ah. Yeah. Uh, but they break out. I like when uh, Rexor realizes about Valeria yeah, is who yeah. she is, and she just leaves. Yeah, she's great. Um, She does the whole, you want to live forever? You want to live forever. You want to live forever? <laughs> yeah. Which was quoted in Justice League. Flash Gordon. Uh, oh, the movie? Yeah. I don't remember that. But it's a famous World War II okay. quote, I Okay, think, okay. Well, where a makes... general's like, come on, you dogs, you want to live, live forever? forever? Yeah. Uh, so I can definitely see why John Millie has put that in this movie. Then. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I like that they're enjoying their spoils of war a little too, and they're partying just way too hard. And so out in the open, too. Like, yeah. we've got these riches that we just stole from the fucking king of the snake people. And they're like, like uh, they're like in Goodfellas, the guys, <laughs> after they steal all the money, right. and they're buying, like, fur coats. They're like, what the fuck are you doing? And I like how they rip the fur coat off the girl. It's like, you idiot. <laughs> it's funny. I, I do. I, I really enjoy, though. They have this scene where Conan and Valeria actually, like, you see them get closer, and unlike a lot of other movies, it makes sense. Mm. Like, there's, they don't really build up any sort of dramatic or dialogue-heavy chemistry. You just no. see that these are two people that, like, are on the same level. Yes. And the, and Conan knows, these are like, he knows two fucking people. Yes. Like, he knows her and him. And, well, uh, he knows the third guy, his slave owner. Uh, yeah. He doesn't know where he is <laughs> at the moment. But like, oh, a four, he knows those two. Yeah, he knows, well, he doesn't really know his name. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, but like, he, he know, like, I like the way that it plays out because it feels genuine and authentic. Yeah. And even for her, she's like, okay, for a woman to be in a more masculinated position, mm. If you're going to go for a man, go for the fucking most yeah. like king of. And again, they got a lot to relate to. I mm -hmm. think later on she says like I've been alone forever, yes. and it's yeah. like he doesn't. Really... But you can also see that Conan's so drilled in on that fucking yes because of artifact. what's about to happen. So mm -hmm. this scene, because they're idiots, I love it. It just cuts to Conan drunk and he face he puts, plans. yeah the thing and then, <laughs> and then they, they and I love when she like the soldiers she, come and then she goes to fight him and she like falls. Yeah, well she tries to yeah. like. You know, put up some sort yeah, of fight. I love they bring him to King Osric. And it's like, where's the third one? He's like, oh, he was eaten by a lioness. He's like, oh, really? Yeah, and then he pulls him in. He's like, eaten by a lioness. Yeah. <laughs> it is cool, though, that they say, hey, we're going to give you all these riches. Just steal my daughter Dude, back. Dude, Max von Sydow is so Yeah, he's good. good. He's scene. good. He's good. I think I remember reading, like, Arnold was, like, like, like mesmer like intimidated on that level of it's acting. It's a very high level caliber of like what he's doing here and it's the only scene he has in the movie. Yeah, um, which is weird. There was a deleted scene where they kill King Osric. Oh uh, yes, I remember there was a scene about that. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, I'm glad they cut that out because I like to think that we it's did a get the little, princess back. It's a little too depressing to know that the princess goes home to like, no. But what they were trying to say is again, mm. it's a reference to the hippies taking over yeah. everything. Yeah. And he talks about how, you know, and by uh, the way, weren't most of the hippies uh, boomers? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, they really you know, fuck hippies and boomers. They I know. Really screwed, they screwed everything, everything up. up. But like, the 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 king says there comes a time when uh, jewels lose their luster. luster. Yeah, and the only thing that matters is uh, a father's your yeah, son father for his a child. love for his child. And you know, you can immediately see Conan while he's more independent and just going about his own self. Yeah. You can kind of relate, like, well, know, because Conan 
felt for his family. Yeah. And he sees the pain in his father. He's like, I have that same pain for yeah, losing I'm, my family. And But the father's like, you know, my child was robbed from me, not from like death, yeah. but from like this ideology that is just completely stripped. And he from, talks about it. He's like, by the way, look at this dagger. Yes, yeah, for me. Like, yeah. because that killed someone else. Yeah. He's yeah. like, well, he says like, yeah, someone joined up with this cult and tried to kill their parents. It's like, is there a dagger like this waiting for me? Yeah, I love how he, and with the deleted scene, there is. Yes. Uh, but he throws that fucking dagger. That's a badass prop to the yeah. twisted thing. Yeah, and it's like Max von Sydow, he really pours he gives his heart it and soul in that, yeah. uh, that one role. And it's an important role. It, this is Conan's mission. Well, it's also... And I like that Conan also feels robbed by Thulsa Doom. Yeah, and at the end of the movie, we learned the whole, you know, he's yeah. a king now on the throne. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, so I really like that moment. And again, I don't think I don't think Conan says a word in this. No. Whole scene. No, because he he doesn't really... He wants to kill Thulsa Doom. Yes. He doesn't... Valeria's like, fuck, look at these riches. Yes. We, Valeria's let's just take like, this just, shit and go. We can just like, take the money and run. Yeah. We can take it and run. And he's just like, Nah, nah, he's gonna kill. Is this these. where they finally sleep together? Or was that? Early? That was a little bit earlier. Yeah. Okay, and that's like a weird scene because you can kind of tell this is probably the first time they like. Yeah, for this, sure. This is probably the first time they consensually with another person. Like they're like, oh, how do we? Do, we don't know how to do this. In the novelization, Valeria is another pit fighter. So mm. like, it's she's a slave too, a former yeah. slave. But yeah, it's definitely. I like that man. This yeah. is in 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 weird moments. Conan the Barbarian's like sweet and it's yeah. kind of strange when it's and like you said it is a nice scene because like again they probably been forced into other stuff and this is the and first this time is they're the, doing like, it willingly yeah. and they're like awkward about it yeah uh but yeah so she's just like come on let's just leave we gotta leave and he's just like he's just, no he's dead set on that he's artifact he's set. like and in the morning he's gone and he's yeah. just gone yeah he's gone uh he goes to um he's making his way to thulsa doom's mountain but on the way he on the way he sees some hippies yeah, some hippies. <laughs> picking flowers. Yeah, and uh, they're like, "Yeah, return to the earth." And like Mako's like, it's, "He will sleep in the earth when he's dead." Ha! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a fucking cool movie this is. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and I love when he goes um, past the battleground with all the skeletons. The yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can't believe that horse died standing up. Yeah, I've thought about that too. Because yeah. um, <laughs> some of them have like spikes through. I'm like, okay, but then there's like a horse just standing and, up. And not only a horse, but a guy on top of the and horse. The guy on top. The like, armor and everything. I'm like, huh. Um, but yeah, I'm the, like, I don't know if you know this, Clayton, but like bones separate. Yeah, for a while. Well, also, well, okay, it is a magical place, as we learned through the wizard. That is magical. Right so we nearby. meet the wizard Mako. Hey! I'm a wizard, mind you. There is no coincidence. Our meeting was no coincidence, mm -hmm. nor is it yeah. me telling the story of this tale or something like yeah. that. Uh, like he's like, I will summon a demon. But it, it, yes, and, and I love he laughs. <laughs> Conan laughs, and I, I love that connection they have right away. Yeah, it's They're great. Like, like Mako for some reason was like, I get all right, it. anyone who's not scared yeah, of me yeah. is probably on the level. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and I, I love the fact that when they meet right there, and uh, they cut away to again, it's a more. Valeria centered that he cares about this woman. He's like asking for flowers. Like, do, yeah. do flowers grow around here? Well, he says it's for a girl, but it's really to get into that. I know, but like yeah. at the same time. It's yes, but he tells him, it's like, yes, this uh, hill up here mm. is protected by the gods. Flames don't burn there. Uh, right. All important stuff for later on. Very important stuff for later. Um, yeah, and the wizard is just really, really cool. Uh, it's just it's just a unique character. Mm -hmm. But he comes across the band of hippies again. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they are getting ready to go to Thulsa Doom's mountain with all the cult members. And worship. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they're all in their hippie circles. They're all hanging out. And it does. It, I think it's intentionally made to look like a Woodstock kind of yes. thing. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and and he, Arnold sticks out like such a fucking sore thumb. I love, I love to blend in. He's like, oh, look weird if I came on a horse. And so he goes on a camel. And like the <laughs> wizard's like. Do you know how to ride one of those? Yeah, like, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like almost falling off. Yeah. But yeah, he does stick out like like a sore thumb. I mean, he beats up the... the that is... A it's so funny uh, when he's just like, uh, he's just like, look at your body. Well, I, I, lo I love that. He's just like, uh, yeah, I have to change. He's like, are you ashamed of your body? It's so great. But the, it's yeah. And I love that. He's just like, can we, can we talk, talk over, over there? there? 
when no one can see us. And of then course. he's like, I'm shy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm I'm shy and I'm afraid. <laughs> and I love he's just like, uh, is this your robe? The A priest's, priest's robe? robe? And he's like, yes, it's all I have. And he beats him up. He's like, it's all you'll ever yeah, need. Yeah, it's great. It's so good. But right away, again, the contrast of like, how Valeria, who's done this many times, was able to get in the oh yeah, and this get in the fucking, priestess robe and blend in easily. And this moron, <laughs> Cody's just like, ah uh, yes, uh huh. Uh, uh, oh yeah, he is doing that stupid uh, shit. I am a priest. Yes. yes. Do you need this? I stole it. Is this like the get in card? <laughs> What a moron! But like, he's just so stupid. He's incredibly stupid, and I love how the fucking guards are like, "Go over there!" Like, yeah. well, we found the fucking thing these guys stole. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, oh, that's right. <laughs> well, the one thing they stole, they never find the eye. The eye of set, which is very important in the book. But yes. like, uh, yeah. Um. But yeah. So they get to the uh, the temple. Mm-hmm. And it's beautiful. The big staircase. Incredible. Uh, yeah. And I guess it's like built into the mountain as we find out. Um, it's a great, great set. Like this huge practical set. I love the just the idea behind it too. Like Thulsa Doom would go out there and you'd hear his booming voice over all yes. his followers. And you get the princess out the there, princess there with, with the, the snakes. snakes. Yeah. Um, Thor yeah, Grimm and Rexor yeah. get down there to go fuck Conan shit up. Well, I love that <laughs> he comes out and they're just like, oh, yes, I'm Thulsa Doom. It's like, Oh, by the way, one of you guys suck. And then they're like, Infidel! And yeah, Infidel. Arnold, and, like, and Arnold's like, ah, again, it's Gee, expression. I wonder who it is. It's like, is Arnold, it the he, fucking bodybuilder among the hippies? It's like, it's like, Conan, you stole a high priest robe. And why then you, you used, steal, like, your... Why didn't you just steal one of the regular cult members? Couldn't fit in it or something. But, like, yeah, they come and... I love how Th- Thorgrim and Rexor look like they're stepping off of an Iron Maiden tour bus. Yeah, they really do. Like, they look like wrestlers. Yeah, well, I think the guy... One of them was a wrestler, right? Rexor was a... Uh, NFL. Like, oh, right, uh, right, right. Uh, but uh, Thorgrim does look like Bruce Dickinson from Iron Man. <laughs> but like, the, it's it's cool because they are like intimidating in size. So yes. it's something to challenge Conan. Yes. But then they beat the shit out of him. And like, yeah, they beat the shit out of him. Mm, He's all bloody. He looks like stepping on his foot or, yeah. or on his hand and shit. He looks like Jesus. Not the first time. Uh, no, well, no. not the last time. Yep. But yeah, he's sitting there. He finally gets a one-on-one with Thulsa Doom. And Thulsa Doom's so calm. I love that Thulsa's like, you broke into my home, mm-hmm. you stole this, and you killed my pets. And that is what grieves me the most. He's like, Rexor is beside himself yeah. with grief. He raised, raised that snake, snake from, from when it was born. Yeah. <laughs> Rexor is just like, no. He's got it, another baby it's snake. It's so interesting, like, all of the details that go within this movie of yeah. uh, the... <laughs> What these guys like actually believe in, like yeah. it's a hypnotic, like the snake yeah. cult. But thing. there also is some kind of realism. There to is, it. yeah. Like all the stuff he's feeding the other people's bullshit, but there is like, oh, it's a power. It's a legitimacy to yeah. the set god because he does have powers. Well, he's a piece. Of, he's a serpent person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But is he a serpent par- person or does he just pray to set and in become the, a serpent? In the novelization and and pretty much in the actual lore, yeah. there are serpent people. Yeah, I and, know there are serpent people. He, I just always got that as like he was a worshiper of Set, so he. Got oh no, some. he's he's a serpent person because at the oh. end, and you know how in the movie, the way they get rid of Thulsa Doom. Yes. Well, in the book, like he actually turns back into the. Serpent. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like that would have been cool to see. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so he's talking to him, and he's just like, "You did all this bad stuff to me. You suck." And then Conan's like, "You killed, killed my, my mother, fa- my yeah. father. You took my father's took sword. My father's sword. You killed my people." And then, like, yeah, I love his reaction too. He's like, he's like, oh, yeah, must have been in my younger days. There was, was a time when I looked for steel. Steel, steel was more worth, worth more to me than all the gold. And I'm just sitting there, and I'm like, did Stephen D'Souza watch this when he was writing <laughs> Street Fighter the movie? With the I whole like, with the whole like, you killed my people. Oh he's yeah, like, for sure. He's like on a uh, Tuesday. T- yeah, he's like the time <laughs> Bison graced your town was the most important for me. Was Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, that the, basically sure. it's kind of like this, where he's like, oh yeah, I have vague memories of that. It, it, I love it. <sighs> he's just like yeah. sighing. Like and I love, I love just Conan. Like that is the most important thing it's that's the ever happened. The most important. And thing. then Thulsa, Thulsa it's can just like barely remember it happening. Uh-huh. It's it's a little dark it's yeah. a bit very nihilistic yeah but like conan says the riddle of steel and that gets those dim smiling yes yeah. you know what it is don't yeah. you and he's like should i tell you yeah and he's just like um convinces the woman yeah he's yeah. like hey you come here and he gets the girl to like which fall. i thought was brutal when i saw that yeah. as a kid i'm like damn come to me my child luckily there was that big wooden plank there for her to <laughs> land on because there were crash pads underneath. Yeah. It's like in wrestling 
when they have they like, stomp? No, no, no. In wrestling, when they have like a falls count anywhere match, okay, and they get out of the ring, eventually they'll get to a ledge, and then they'll just be this like black oh yeah wooden thing. Sure, yeah. It's like, gee, I wonder where that. I wonder <laughs> what that is, and then they always <laughs> fall into it. I'm like, huh. Interesting. So it's interesting that giant wooden box that seems to serve no purpose was there. <laughs> That's how I felt about the wooden thing here. Yeah. I'm like, ah, what a coincidence. She's dead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cause they're willing to die because he can command them. He, and like the whole thing is like steel isn't strong, flesh is stronger. Flesh is stronger. What is sword compared to the hand that wields it? He's like, Yes, you have all this brute force, but I have like the command over other people. But he also will. says, Look at the strength of your body. I yeah. gave you this. As if like Making him push the wheel of fucking pain yeah. and like that's a gift. Yes. So and it, right before he, he's like, uh, uh, such a waste. Yeah. Crucify. Him. <laughs> yeah. Contemplate this on, on the, the tree, tree of, of woe. woe. Yeah. Crucify him. And Conan really is like heavy metal Jesus. Yes, like, he really is. He's like stuck to which again is from a. Oh my God! It's an incredible Conan story. Conan comes back off that fucking <laughs> off that, and he kills that motherfucker that put him on there. Oh my God! I wish I could remember the name of it. It is a great. I think it's called Black Colossus. Okay, I get it confused with Hour of the Dragon, which that's not the yeah. story. But like, dude, this movie. And by the way, while he's stuck on the Tree of Woe, yeah, the vulture or whatever they used to actually nibble at him was a real vulture. Oh, really? Yeah, now it was obviously dead. Yeah. But like they had oh, okay, yeah. they had to wash out his mouth with like antiseptic and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. But uh <laughs> I love that scene that's just so brutal. Um and but then you see the horizon yeah. Subatai. And I this this movie really hammers home the idea of like independence and like fighting for yourself mm. your own personal like yeah. like the the you reap what you sow yeah. but it's also but also the power of teamwork <laughs> it, it's actually very important to this movie cuz yeah. if if subatai like he saved subatai yes and now subatai is coming back to like him. save him and, and he's laughing like yeah, he's like ha, ha, ha. and he's fucking nailed to this tree yeah. <laughs> so he does save him but yeah. he's like he's kind of dying he is dying yeah and, and valeria's uh, pissed yeah valeria's pissed and she basically begs the wizard like hey you got to save this guy. And he's like, well, I could do a spell, but there's going to be like a price. She's they're like, gonna, they're going to come for him too. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to come for him. So he like does the spell by drawing on him, which is a Japanese thing. Mm -hmm. I, I saw a picture of it briefly when I was researching, but I forgot to like write down what it was. I do like how this movie merged like lots of different old ancient cultures into yes. like this fictional, which is what the fictional version of Conan was. Yes. So it's badass that they had like all that detail, especially with the architecture and shit in this movie. Yeah, yeah. There's a mixture of many different cultures. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, um, the the writing I forget what it, it was like a Japanese thing they had a, I saw a picture of like a Japanese guy with like all the writing around him it's mm. like some ancient thing uh, but yeah so they put that on him and like I remember they scared the shit the out of him the demons coming to get come. him yeah because it's the, the traditional hand drawn animation which in other movies looks like shit it looks pretty scary here here because everything is red. And they're red, and it's so darkly lit, it works fine. They look kind of like the game genie. <laughs> like, <laughs> coming to kill Conan, like, steal his soul. I do like how Valeria stabs one. Yeah, uh, when she's, she... like, brushing them away. Uh, I'm thinking of, like, other movies that had hand-drawn animation that kind of, like, not ruin it, but... um, They one, weren't as effective. One is, like, a Hellraiser when all the Cenobites are being sent yeah, back to hell. The yellow Very bad. Yeah, they love, why, why did that look so bad in that movie? Because it was a super low-budget movie. By the way... Clive Barker did that with a friend, and they were drunk the whole time they oh, did really? it. Yeah. Was it you that told me that you can see the, the thing pushing out that creature in Hellraiser? Yes, you can see the little rod underneath. Yeah. Um... And then Highlander at the end with all the electricity. Some of that stuff is a little Some of it weird. looks bad. There's a couple of them that look cool, but for yeah. the most part, yeah. Yeah. And it's, but he, they, they kept using this effect even up to like 1995 Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Like it was a little more CG'd in there, but it was still oh God, like. Kind of, again. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. You're good. <laughs> oh, my God. So, yeah, the effect is good. Yeah. Uh, Very creepy. This gave me nightmares. It was scary. Yeah. And it, it has a lot to do with the red. Like, yeah. And, they, yeah. and he did tell her, hey, the, the gods demand a price. Yes. So. Uh, but yeah, she saves him. Yeah. And uh, he gets up uh, and he starts swinging that sword. Dude, he's like, he's, I'm a I love how he looks now. at, like, you know, yeah. his hand that was nailed. Yeah. And it is another Jesus thing where he's like, yeah, he's but, come back to life. Now he's contemplating. He's, he's been the discipline of steel, but yeah. he's like, but he's listening to what he had to say. I'm like the flesh the that flesh feels is, it. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, he's he's learning. He's figuring it out. He's figuring yeah. it out. 
So they put on badass war paint. Hell yeah. I don't know. It doesn't really help them blend in with anything. No, but it but looks it's cool as cool. shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and they go to the... Uh, I like how they like enter in the backside of the mountain. And we see like Thulsa Doom's like people like working and slaving away and grinding. Yeah. Stuff. Meanwhile, him and his friends are living in luxury. Uh-huh. And even Subutai is like, so this is paradise. Well, remember where they're like butchering up people when you learn that they're cannibals? Yeah. And they're... Uh, I didn't know until recently when I was reading through the Cinefantastic mm. thing for Conan, but like in the novelization, they call them, uh, I think they call them animal people or something. They are kind of like monsters. They're, yeah. They have the leather mask, but if you look at their mouth, they've got like, that. Yeah. What they are is Neanderthals. Oh, okay. So Thulsa Doom is tall. Neanderthal, whatever. Yeah. Uh, Thulsa Doom's like an ancient race, and so are these guys yeah. that have been working for him. And I didn't know that until I like saw the the full mask and everything. Yeah. And that behind, I was like, Holy shit. There's a lot of movies where there's like weird things in the background. Like uh, you mentioned Mortal Kombat. In Mortal Kombat, the 95 movie, like you can look up the close up pictures of the monks. They all have their mouth sewn up. Never I did not know that. Never shows up in the movie. But if you look at like uh, behind the scenes photos, like from the set, like the special effects guys, like their mouth. You need to up. show me. That sounds fucking cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like they're Neanderthals. And yeah. Uh, you know, they're, they're, they're eating people. The yes. princess is there. Thulsa yes. Doom is there. And, and Thulsa's just like, he's sitting there. He's looking at this orgy. And he's big, like, he's yeah. like, I'm going to turn into a snake. Get away. He knows they're coming to get He him. does know they're coming? Mm -hmm. I thought he just likes to turn into a snake sometimes. Nah, he's getting away. Um, well, it, well it, he it, does like to turn into a snake. Well, listen, but like, listen. Let's, all right. So he knows they're coming. Mm -hmm. And you're saying he's going to turn into a snake which takes 10 minutes to do. Oh, it's, I, when, I didn't say it was a good idea. I was going to say, if I'm like, if I'm talking to you and I know, oh, well, there's Arnold, literally Arnold's right there. Yeah. Uh, and he's coming. I'm going to be like, oh, Arnold's coming. <laughs> well, I do think. I'm not going to be like, hold on, hold on. I got to turn into a snake. Uh, okay. Don't you think though, one of the special effects that holds up really well is the, the morphing of the face. Yes. They're like, Yes. For use, if you just want to show off more special effects, I'm totally fine with that. Yes. They're good special effects. No, I think it's a good fact. The orgy that's going on right there, though, is another, like, exemplification of, like, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Like, the hippie peace and love and free yeah, movement. Free that, love. It's yeah. a very critique of that. No. And they come in, and they're critiquing the shit out of it, because they come down there and kill everybody. Uh, but, like, again, the the idea of the serpent, like, controlling, mm. kind of like the Garden of Eden yes. sort of thing to, you know, like Conan's mom. Yeah. But uh, Valeria fucks a ton of people. Subutai Kills cuts a guy Arnold just straight up cuts a guy's head off. Yeah, it was Arnold, awesome. Arnold uh, Valeria cuts a guy's head off. Was it Valeria? The, yeah. Okay. But, but Arnold they they kill a lot. They just murder yeah. everyone. And I love uh, Rexor and Thorgrim coming out. And Thorgrim's got the fucking hammer. Yeah. And Rex is like, "You. You." <laughs> and, and, and Conan is just like pushing the thing. And oh, the shot of like the camera going down with like the green goo coming out. And then there's a guy's head in yeah. there. And it's like, oh, gross. Oh, and they lit it on fire. They like lit, yeah, they the, lit the curtains on, on fire. Dun, dun. <laughs> and you could just tell Arnold's like, I'm fucking, this is the yeah. time. Yeah. Like, and they have like a brief five second battle, but it's the yeah. most badass five seconds you get like yes. in anything. Um, but yeah, so they're able to get the princess. They, they rescue her, yes. Yes, they're getting out, and uh, Thulsa Doom sees them, and he turns a snake into an arrow. Pretty cool. Which I thought was cool as yeah. shit. Uh, he Seek. hits he yeah. hits Valeria. Kills her. He hits Valeria. The wizard. Oh. Uh, the quote that he says. Um, oh my God, yeah. When, when, he's, when he's in the room, and he's like, they will bathe in rivers of blood. They should all drown in lakes of blood. Now they will know why they feel. I use that in the short film. <laughs> so I made a short film about a guy who got too drunk and slept with a bunch of dudes' girlfriends, uh, boyfriends, a bunch of girls. No, a bunch of guys' girlfriends. Sorry. Okay, let's get that right. I'm sorry. So I can get the context of what's going yes, on here. Yes, and uh, he might have slept with a dog too. Uh, it was fun. So, but was, he has, it, was any of this consensual? Uh, yes. So the next day, he wakes up and all the boyfriends have found out and they're all trying to kill him. Uh, so it's like, it's actually, I want to remake that movie. That movie oh, this was a movie. Okay. I thought this is a real, movie I made. I yes. thought it was a real thing. <laughs> I was like, how did this happen? No, 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 no. This is a real movie <laughs> uh, where it's just like, he has no memory of what happened, but he, all these guys are trying to kill him. This, and the character that I played uh, quotes Thulsa Doom. Now they will all drown in lakes yeah. of blood. And he'll remember why he fears <laughs> the, the dark. And then <laughs> And the one girlfriend was a blow-up doll, and the boyfriend's upset that he slept with the. 
Oh my and God. how and what happens is the whole thing he accidentally kills all of them, and how he kills me and the kills other the guy. girlfriends. Huh? Kills the girlfriends or the boyfriends? Yeah, the boyfriends oh, all Jesus. end up killing themselves on accident, and it's just like I go to shoot him the same time the other guys go to shoot him, and then we shoot each other in the car. <laughs> Reservoir Dogs style. Oh my There's God. two guys that are trying to kill him, and then they get into a fight and then fall off a bridge. <laughs> what did you make this? I mean, this is like 2008, okay, 2009. Check it out. It was fun. It was fun. But yes, I quote Thulsa of Doom because I was like <laughs> watching the movie a lot at that point. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I was too. In the yes. 2006, I was watching this movie on yes. repeat. So Valeria dies. Yeah. And she's very happy that she got to know Conan. Mm -hmm. What did she say to him? She has like good final Let words. me breathe my last breath of air into you. Yes. And he's, you know, the, I love this shot where they take the snake out and it turns back into like yeah. a, a snake. Yeah, but uh, you know, then they they obviously go for the burial, and yes. they remember like, you know, fire won't burn up there, no fire at all. And Subatai's like, "Fuck you, and we're gonna we're yeah. gonna do it anyway." And then the fire burns. Mm -hmm. Me, dun dun, that music, yeah. Yeah, and just, even like the wizards, like, oh shit, shit, I yeah. had no idea that could happen. Yeah. Um. So yeah, the fire is burning. Another great line is, yeah. uh, "Why do you cry?" He's like, "He's Conan. He's Sumerian." And you know what? Maybe this is why I don't cry, Clayton, because I watched this movie. Are you Sumerian? I, I might be Sumerian, yes. Uh, so I cry for Sumerian, him. Sumerian, not Sumerian. Is Sumerian, Sumerian is evil dead. Oh. Sumerian is evil dead. Sorry. Sumerian, Sumerian. is Conan. C-I-M-M-E-R-I-N. Yes. Uh, yeah, you know, I don't cry. Then I, I'm pretty sure I watch this movie, and I'm just like, oh. Crying's fucking lame. Not Crying's for pussies. But now I need to get someone to cry for me so that everyone... When people are like, Tony, you're emotionally distant. You have problems because you don't cry. Get Justin or Kieran to cry. Yeah, I'll be like, hold on, hey, can you cry for me? They won't cry for you, but no, like, you can get... They won't. Uh, but yeah, you shouldn't <laughs> cry. Um, that's the lesson to take away from... And there's probably another reason they were like, this movie's too toxic for... Nah, for I love it. people. Like, nah, I love it. I do too. Don't cry. But... As, as, as Marlon Brando said, you can act like a man! <laughs> <laughs> but look, the way this transitions to Conan yeah. just... Thinking. Yes. And the princess is like, they will come for me. They've yes. seen your fires and they will come. Because there, there were a lot of cult things going on at this point. Like the Manson family. It was The Manson had happened. That, was that like, had happened yeah. in yeah, a long time. But so, and still, she's definitely like a Manson She girl. is a cult member. Yes. And she's that spiteful. They save this woman. And she's like, I hope they fucking kill you. Yes. and Because she's brainwashed. He look, Yeah, definitely. And, uh, and I like how Conan and Subutai just make the decision to like, this is where we make our last stand. Yeah. They're not going to run. They're like, this is where we fight. I think it was like, was it the Manson people? I think it was the Manson like followers. Like the, after they got arrested, like the longer they were off drugs, the more they were like, oh yeah, I think we fucked up. <laughs> yeah, like we did something bad. You know, now that I'm thinking about yeah. it, uh, I probably shouldn't have done it. I think I was just on a lot of drugs and be easily manipulated. It's fascinating though that this movie, I can see th if this movie came out today, the fucking Twitter and everything would hate well, it. If this version of the movie, sure. Yeah. Well, uh, actually, I don't know. I think there's a return to the uh, manlier act, like with I John Wick so. and stuff. Well, yeah, yeah, but even John Wick was like 2014. Yeah. So that, but was, I mean, they're still doing it, and other movies are copying. But it. I think with this movie, like you've heard that whole toxic masculinity, like thing yeah. where they anything that's but in this universe, it's allowed. This is just power yeah like this is and and i love the fact that this dude is and i love the fact that conan's the embodiment of masculinity and he's like mm. fuck you i saved your ass are they kind of they, they just killed valeria yeah. they're coming for us yo by the way we're we're all we're here by the way i don't think conan cares about her well-being anymore i know at this point he's using her as bait yes yes yeah he's, he's like all right all right and i love how uh uh Mako comes down and he's like, mm. the gods are pleased with you. He's like, are oh, they he's wearing all the armor. Yeah. He's, he's, he's like, like, are they going to help? He's no. like, no. <laughs> the tell them to stay out of the way. It's <laughs> awesome. So yeah, there. He's realizing he makes his Torok dinosaur hunter trap. Yes. For the <laughs> but he learned. I think he's learned. He's like, you know what? I don't think brute for brute force is in everything. Mm. Let me come up with a plan. Yeah. And they come up with the booby trapping and whatnot. You know which. The government says that you're not allowed to do in your own house. <laughs> um, How do you feel about that? I should be able to booby trap. I've if I immediately a thought of the end of Nightmare on Elm Street, where she's like got the gunpowder yeah. and the light bulb and everything. You should be able to booby trap your own house. <laughs> That's what I think. They didn't tell that to Stallone in Rambo 5. I didn't only see Rambo 5. Oh, you didn't see it? I don't like the Rambo sequels. Not even the fourth one? It's okay. 
I First I, Blood is the best. I've said many times I really like First Blood and I prefer the ending where he dies. I do too. So I'm, yeah. I can't I've never because been able a, to get into the sequels. I can get it but like dude, the second movie is so fun. Yeah, it's, uh, it's I gone. think the third one isn't good. No, the third one's Yeah. <laughs> third one five, is five's not good either, but it's fun. <laughs> um but yeah, like uh they set up the booby traps mm. and I one of the most powerful scenes in this movie is when the d- prayer? Yes. Um, I've never prayed to you before. Yes. The music is just rising. I got, a funny story about, fucking I got a funny story about the prayer. But yes, he he because we haven't heard him pray to Krom. No, he doesn't. And he even do says early on when they're comparing gods, because uh, Subutai has the four. I wins. seldom pray to him because he will not listen. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we're like, yeah, we have gods. We don't really like them. Yeah. <laughs> but like I love he's like, Krom, I have never prayed to you. But he basically just says, Grant me revenge, and if you don't listen to yeah. hell with you. Uh that I, is a badass. So <laughs> I agree. Uh, so at my friend's wedding rehearsal dinner, mm. I decided, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, oh, yeah, no. I like to. They wanted me to say some stuff, and I'm like, yeah, I like to start with a prayer. <laughs> there were some really religious people in the crowd, and they got excited. <laughs> oh no! And I was like, oh my god, I was like, Krom, I've never prayed to you before. I have no <laughs> tongue for it. No one will know if we were good men or bad. Just that few stood against many. Crom, I want you to grant me one thing. Grant, grant me revenge. revenge. You and said if revenge. You do not, then to hell with you. And then I was like, All did right, anyone laugh? Oh, a few people laughed. Okay. Like, some of the people did not laugh. I wouldn't laugh. Dude, you remember that movie Noah? Yeah. I remember I this one preacher was like sitting next to me in the movie theater, very concerned and confused about those giant rock people that were like walking through. There's was, rock people in Noah? They were like fallen angels. And he was like, uh, I think I missed a chapter like in the Bible or like whatever. <laughs> like he was, he was looking at it. I have Noah. Is that one of the random DVDs we have here? I saw it in theaters. I remember Nomads, very little about it. Now you see me, the new guy. No, I guess I don't have Noah. I thought That'd I be a good one for Hack the Movies. You know what I was thinking? Conan the Destroyer. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, if we could squeeze it in this weekend, we could do a 2B Tuesday for your Hunter from the Future. <laughs> Starring Reb Brown. Okay. The original Captain America. <laughs> um, so anyway. Unless you're going to bring up Yul Brenner or something. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh... Yeah, Thulsa Doom's army comes and they Conan like, fucks them up. They fucking wreck them. Yeah, dude, the blood in this this is really intense blood. Yes, like, it's very violent and it's very real looking. Yes, even the part where the horses fall on the things. There's like guys like in the in the British version of the film. Oh, they cut that out. They trim the horses falling. Mm. I, I guess there's like a rule. There's like weird rules where no you're not allowed to show anyone being kicked when they're down, and I guess the animals falling. I don't know why. Uh, but apparently the horses were fine. Like the way they set it up. They yeah. There's like guys in black that are like, uh, covering up They're They're blocking all the things as the horses tumble and fall. Yeah. And I'm sure it wasn't real wooden style. No, no, no. They're, or they're, they're made to like, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, I remember watching that. I'm like, Oh shit. Those horses. Okay. Dude, that <laughs> first initial ax cut where the big splash of blood goes off. Yeah. That guy, I was like, okay, that was awesome. He fucking killed him. He and killed I, the stunt man. I love the <laughs> trick where he puts his helmet on the thing. And, and the guy's him. like, what an idiot. He hits his hammer and then ends up getting stabbed. Yeah. Was that Rexor or Thor? That's Thorgrim. Thor- Thorgrim. Like he's, um, <laughs> like he's like, ugh. <laughs> Got him. But then, uh, what's it called? Rexor comes out. Swinging uh, with his father's sword. With his father's sword. Yeah. Uh, but he gets some help from Valeria, Valeria. who's now a literal Valkyrie. You live forever. Do you want to live forever? I, oh my god, that movie is so fucking good. Yeah, we're in like the <laughs> Thor helmet and everything. Yeah, badass. So she came back to a system once. And it is a little over the top and operatic. Like when yeah. it, oh, it like falls back. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, there is like a bittersweetness where like and Conan, to achieve his mission, one of the things he has to do is break his father's sword mm-hmm. and he shatters it. Well, it's it. also important to remember his father said mm-hmm. this you can trust and yeah. like the steel broke. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So. Yes. And he kills the guy that killed his. Uh, the, the, all that's left now is Thulsa Doom. But I love yes. how he raises his broken father's sword. But, well, before that, the Atlantean sword. Before that, uh, Thulsa Doom, he realizes he's lost. And he tries to kill the princess. He tries to kill the princess. Like fuck you, you can't have her. Father, no. And in her last minute, she realizes she fucked up, yeah, and she yeah. starts calling for her father, and then they rescue her. 
yeah. <laughs> snake the stone snake. The thing right I there. love that. That's such a cool thing. Yeah, but thing. then, yeah, he brings, he pulls up the two swords. Mm. Badass. Yeah. Um. So, Thulsa's not happy. No. Yeah, Thulsa is uh, he's a little upset. And he's ready to just pull the he's he's pull the plug. He no no he's he's hitting the uh, not pull the plug. He's 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 pushing the button, the nuclear button. Mm-hmm. Well, remember uh, what is the name of that real life cult where they drank the poison cool? Oh, Jonestown. And yeah. He's like, this will burn you away. Yeah. Like direct they die yeah. with grace. Yeah. Like that crazy guy. Yeah. Oh, the fuck? You ever see the Key and Peele skit about cults? No, but I, I can imagine it's It's so ridiculous. funny. So it's like they they were making fun of the Heaven's Gate cult. Okay. Uh, and it's just like, yeah, a bunch of cult uh, cult members were found dead after drinking a thing. We have uh, two two witnesses here, and they're clearly the cult members, and they have their shirts inside out, but you see they spit the, the drink they spit out. They out? Oh, my <laughs> and God. And they're like, but they're pretending like they're not in the cult. They're like, yeah, those guys were messed up. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, oh they God. didn't go along with the... Oh, suit. my God. <laughs> um, So he's basically there with them with all the lights and whatnot, and he's like, hey, uh... Uh, go home and kill everyone you know. Well, she leads him. She leads Conan there, though. And I do like, yeah, I do like that she comes back and all the people are like, well, she's supposed to be here. And then Conan's taking them out. Yeah. But no, like, Thulsa of Doom, he's basically saying, like, yeah, yeah we're going to purge everyone. Pretty much going go to the earth on everybody. And, and kill all of them. I'm pissed. But, uh, yeah. and then he comes up behind him. Yes. He's like, he tries to convince him. He's yeah. like, my child. Yeah. You know. And he tries to use the hypnotism on him. Which it almost works. Almost works, but he looks at his father's sword, right? Yes. And that you can trust. Right. Uh, but yeah, I think the sword like knocks him out of the trance. Well, remember he's saying, like, who now can you not trust if not me? Yeah. Who ga- Again, who gave you your body? Like, yes. Who, my son. And he yeah. like actually reaches out. And so, yes. Fucking he hacks. Just slices. Incredible that. practical effect yeah. like, too. Where it's like, oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but like, you know. That was the big thing that Thulsa Doom was saying is that it's flesh is the answer. Yeah. Conan cuts off Thulsa Doom's head yes. with his broken father's sword. Yes. And like shows. And then throws it and at And then the- slings it. And you can see the one. Uh, there's a cool detail. Um, I, I believe I could be getting this wrong, but I believe the guy that like backs up yeah. after the, the head gets thrown is the bodyguard to the king. Oh, he's the he's the priest. Oh, is he the one who kills the king? He's, in the he's like scene? the betrayer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. But uh, but like you know, and after again, that, I'm glad they cut out. The I am too. King, it's yeah. that's too dark and cynical. Yeah. But like all of the people go to drop their candles and the yeah, they're just like ah, all right, we're done. And then you know, which was done perfectly at the end of the movie Road Trip, okay. where the <laughs> asshole guy, the actor who got Kevin Spacey, for me too. Um, you find out that like in the epilogue that he like uh, started a cult, uh, and he was gonna do a mass suicide, but he drank the juice first, and his cult what members a the cult members changed their mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I so like them throwing their things, it reminds me of the end of Road Trip where they're just like they have the cups and they're like, nah, nah. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, but it's a great ending because you see Conan like yeah. the thinker pose yeah. like up there in the book. So. They talk about how the Riddle of Steel, his father thought it was yeah. the strength of the sword, yeah. steel itself. Bolsa Doom said that it was in flesh. Yeah. The book says, uh, and I want to make sure I get this right, uh, it's not the the steel and the blade, it's mm. the steel and the man. Yes, and uh, we- much like steel where you have to like beat it for it to get stronger. Right. Yeah, I've heard that interpretation. So it's, it's your will. And mm. it's like... Because if you look at everything Conan went through, pushing the fucking wheel of pain, yeah. you know, going after these fucking people that, and, and even being nailed to the tree of yeah. woe, contemplate this, like, Thulsa of Doom's like, it's just flesh. Yeah. It's flesh. It's yeah. skin. It's muscle. It's power. Which makes sense. Mm-hmm. It's power to control others, too. Yeah. But his father was just like, no, you can trust, you know, you're the this, this sword. I think the answer in the novelization is really getting at, it's your will. Yeah. And I think that's a fucking badass. And, and like, like I said, I like the analogy of like steel. It has to be like heated. You've got to beat. beat it into you. Yeah. yeah. And like they get, you get stronger and stronger from it. And I think when this movie came out, I can see people thinking that this is just. It's ironic because if, if I wanted to show my son something yeah. to like make him grow up and be the best version of himself. Yeah. Would you show him 
Uh, I don't, I don't know. Any of these modern superhero movies that are like kind of not the most, like, it, depending on yourself and being taught that there's adversity that you just simply must overcome in life. Yeah. I think that Conan the Barbarian, like I said before, everybody's interpretation, this is a violent, evil guy. Yeah. But like, he's the most, uh, he's, He's the most well-mannered of like the universe. He's the nicest guy in yeah. the whole universe. <laughs> like, like other than maybe Subutai. Yeah, oh, his friend. <laughs> but like it's funny because it's the movie really is in a lot of ways about order and mm. chaos. You yeah. know, the snakes, you know, yeah. they're 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 this this fucked up cult that and you don't have to fall prey to the cult. Like no. even though your family was killed, you you are not determined by your circumstances. It's a movie about just yeah. willpower and drive. Yeah. And I think Arnold at the time of his career mm. and where he was right then, it was the perfect role for him. They didn't make him say many lines. Yeah, what they, they did give him was was good. Because, I mean, look what happens when you get something like Masters of the Universe and he gives Dolph Lundgren too many things Masters to say. Masters of the Universe, they gave Lou Ferrigno uh, uh, Hercules and stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, mistake. like, that was remember mistake. that part where he beat the shit out of the bear and it turned into, like, that constellation? Yeah, <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. Um, it's kind of... Clayton, that's hilarious. Clayton, that's the only thing I can remember uh, okay. from that movie. <laughs> uh, but anyways, Conan the Barbarian, I think, uh, just Ron Cobb, Basil Paldoris, John yeah. Milius, Arnold Schwarzenegger, everything in this movie... And, and I don't I don't think it's as good as any of the Lord of the Rings. No. But it, this is a fucking solid 1980s sword and sorcery Yeah, movie. and it's... Like I said, it's really great. It's got great characters. You get a strong female character. So, uh, you know what I say? Woke! Don't see it! It's so funny I'm because... <laughs> it's funny because... That stuff's mandated now by like greedy corporations that are yeah. just trying to. Whereas like, before you could just do it. Yeah, but it, 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 and this is a movie that was criticized as being like toxically masculine, and she's like, on the goddamn cover. And it's not like she's like she's like she's with Conan she, on the cover, right? And she's got a fucking sword yeah. and everything. It's like, dude, fuck this movie is gold. We have, and by the way, she's any other movie he would have slept with the princess. Yep. The damn absolutely, distress. absolutely. But no, in yeah. this, it's like, oh no, he met just like another tough chick who's like on his level, and that was like his queen. Yeah, like, dude, yeah. Conan the Barbarian. We've regressed. We've regressed. <laughs> we peaked in 1982. Now, <laughs> now, the problem with the movie is that it promises you these awesome adventures. Ah, uh, yeah, and you never get them. No, we don't. You get, you get not even the one sequel we got was good. <laughs> no, you get you get you get Arnold and Grace Jones fighting. Andre the Giant in a rubber and suit. And Will Chamberlain. And yeah. Will Chamberlain. Unfortunately, the ending of the, mo the movie is so fucking cool about what they promise. Yeah. Where it's like, uh, these stories will also be told. And he's talking about how he fights his way to be the king of yeah. Aquilonia. Yeah. And like, damn it. <laughs> I was telling you, there's a there was a Conan story I read where he like rides in on a bat at the end. Yeah. Which was done in Your Hunter from the Future. Okay, well, <laughs> John Milius actually wrote a sequel in 2001 that opened up with the uh, Frost Giant's daughter. Okay. Where he actually did get to her. Yeah. And she has a son. Okay. And the story would have been, a, and it, I think it was called Conan the King or something. Okay. But I, King Conan. King Conan. I wish that story had been made. Yeah. I know they, well, they, so they did. Conan the Destroyer. They well, did a, Red Sonja. Yeah. Where, so I still haven't seen Red Sonja. I have it at home. Um, <laughs> they did Red Sonja. They did Cole the Conqueror when the rights to Conan were in limbo. Yeah. And Kevin Sorbo, who played Hercules, they got him to be Cole the Conqueror. Which is based on Conan the Conqueror, the yes. book. Oh, Hour of the Dragon. Unfortunately, that movie, that would be prime thing to talk about. That yeah. early CGI, 1997. Yeah. But no, I think bad. we've been doing best and worst. I think at some point, me and uh, some people, we're going to do best and worst Conan sequel or spinoff. You should totally do it. But are you going to talk about the remake? I hate that fucking movie. Yeah. A lot of people liked it because they, they didn't make Conan a slave. But unfortunately, you rob like the philosophical. Yeah. This movie is on another level. From what I remember like, that movie, the weird thing was like he wanted to free slaves and he's like, no one should live in chains. Yeah, but no he's man saying as if chains. it happened to him. I'm like, well, it never really happened I can, to him. I can see why someone would think that... I think Jason Momoa would have made for a cool young Conan, like no. a prequel. But the problem is you can't really do a prequel to this because... No. Until he, you know, until he cut the... This is the prequel. Yeah, this like, is the origin of Now, Conan. Jason Momoa, I really didn't like Jason Momoa for years. Until uh, Aquaman? Yeah, he was a fine in Aquaman. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, 
No, I saw Conan. God, that movie fucking sucks. The crazy thing about that, that was back when they were remaking everything. Yeah. And I in 3D. I refuse to watch it. I still have not seen it to this day. We joked about it. Um the one night I saw three 3D movies. Fright Night, the remake of Fright oh Night. Oh my god, I forgot they remade Fright Night. Yeah. Uh Conan the Barbarian 2011 and then in between we saw 20 minutes of the Glee 3D concert movie. Oh my god. The best 3D movie I saw that was night the Glee one? was the Glee 3D <laughs> cuz it was bright and colorful and I could see everything. The end of Conan where they're in the dark caves and this is when 3D was really bad. So you put the glasses on that make everything dark. Oh, yeah. I remember me and my friends sitting in the theater just going, I don't know what's going on. Well, remember they remade Total Recall the next year. Yeah. Which, bad. Total Recall, the original is fucking incredible. Yeah, the original is great. Uh, but yeah, I just remember sitting in the theater, me and my friends were just like, do you have any idea what's going on? Like, we just couldn't see Is the it screen. not Thulsa Doom? Who's the bad guy in that movie? Some guy. Is it it Toph- Steven Lang played him. But from Avatar. Is it Toph Amon? Is that his name? I don't. I couldn't remember. I remember um, Rachel Nichols was in it. Okay. Uh, and I like her. And they're like, she gets topless. And then I watch it. I'm like, it's a body double. Are there snakes in that movie? There's like a weird Hydra thing, I remember, that had tentacles. See, the problem with that film was it was coming out around the same time and trying to actively compete against Sam Worthington's Clash of the Titans remakes. Which wasn't hard to do. Those movies suck. Yeah, but I ironically like the sequel more than the first. Because the second one, yeah. At least the second it's one new. was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, but... Ironically, the, I did that whole video on it, how many Titans are in Clash of the Titans. But there is one in the sequel. The sequel to the remake <laughs> yeah. is the only Kronos. one that has a Titan. <laughs> yeah, but it's funny because... They were trying to make Sam Worthington like an action hero back then. Yeah. And they were like, well, let's give a remake of Conan to like compete. I don't know, man. I think it was just after Lord of the Rings, people were looking for anything. Yeah. Well, also 300. And, and before the Hobbit. Came, yeah. And 300. Yeah. Kept the sword and sorcery remember stuff. Pathfinder and. Uh, yeah. I remember yeah. Pathfinder. There was all kind of half assed. Conan, yeah. I think the best sword and sorcery movies, the three Lord of the Rings, yeah. extended cuts, Conan the Barbarian, and. Uh, you're Hunter from the Future. We'll, I agree. We'll, we'll check it out. I, I, we'll no, you don't have it. to say it's 100%. Okay. You're going to watch this. All right. I will. You're going to watch your Hunter from the Future, which apparently is based on like some novels. Okay. Uh, you're going to go home. You're going to burn all your Conan books. You're like, I'm all in on your now. Uh, that's a very interesting prospect that you've got lined up there. I will say this. I think that Conan like legitimately, I know that it's got like a mixed reception. Yeah. I think people have come around to it more recently, like over the past 15, 20 years. Yeah. But... I can't really think of a, a severe weak link in the film. No. And I, I I just can't. No, it's uh, I think it's good all around. And like you said, that one scene that I wouldn't have liked, they cut out. Yeah, the, no. I think that was a step too far in the nihilistic. Yeah. Like, you don't need to see King Oz. And it's a bloody death. Yeah. Like, it, he bleeds out, like, everywhere. It, I didn't watch the show. The Conan. I think the show actually tried to be in canon with the movies. Oh, because it opens up with Conan pushing the wheel. That's funny. And they get like another German. That was like, like when they were doing the Beastmaster show. Mm-hmm. And 97? Yeah. It's pretty bad. I've tried to watch the first episode and I'm like, nah. And they even get like someone with that accent. Like, who are you? Like, but it's. Oh, they try the. Oh, no. They try. Oh, no. Like, it's weird though, too, because they redesign the sword, but yeah. like, it is. Like, at the the opening of the movie of the, of the Conan the Adventure TV series is like. Uh, sold into slavery and there he is pushing the fucking wheel and it's like wait this is a continuation and yeah it, but like <sighs> i just want to push that wheel a, a much better show to watch back then imagine been, if that uh, was your life hey clayton wake up all you got to do today is push that they got to be feeding him diana ball and testosterone and shit for him to like grow that hey, fucking we're giant. gonna feed you and you're gonna push that wheel you're gonna eat the chicken and yeah. rabbit that subatai shoots yes and then you're gonna go push the wheel and you're gonna go to sleep you're gonna wake up and you push that wheel I'd be like, not a bad luck. I'm in. Can I have an umbrella when it rains? And snows. <laughs> it that snows. does snow. Like as long as you can protect me from the elements, I'll push that wheel all goddamn day. Did you ever have the DVD copy that had the had both of them on it? No. It had like the leather. You know what's look. funny? I went to buy Conan the Barbarian on Blu-ray in 2007 oh, okay. on DVD, uh-huh. and Walmart wouldn't sell it to me because I wasn't 18. And that was the only time really? I've never, I was, a lot of these horror tapes, I was buying when I was 12, yeah. 13. I had never been carded for a rated R movie. They carded I, me once for Torok Son of Stone. Have you ever seen that? 
No. It's an animated bloody Torok movie. No. It's terrible. I gotta see that now. Yeah, I didn't like it. It's got the Torox Demon Carnotaurus in it. It's got the colors and everything. Oh, nice. I used the, to read the Torok comics. Which from ones? The 90s. The ni- yeah, the yeah. 90s ones were the, the, the shit. The yeah. Velociraptors could talk. Yeah. The Velociraptors could talk and they had like uh, robotic implants. Oh, we had them somewhere here. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm big, I love the Torok stuff. Yeah, Torok's fun. Torok was almost as big as Gold Knights. Fascinating they never brought that back. I'm surprised it never got turned into a movie. Well, they did that cartoon movie. Wow. <laughs> like... <laughs> But anyway, I love this movie. Uh, check it out. Uh, don't watch any of the other ones. Wait for me to do an episode on them. Um, yeah, definitely. Clayton, where can we find you? You can find me, uh, Clayton Furiti, on YouTube. I talk about Jurassic Park. But mm-hmm. I also have a second channel called Dragon Curve, where I will be doing more Conan the Barbarian stuff in the future. I did a little comparison to it in Lord of the Rings, but mm-hmm. uh, this is one of my favorite movies. So. Yeah, look me up on Dragon Curve on YouTube, and I'll be doing more stuff like this. Yes, uh, definitely check out that channel. Uh, and if it gets more popular than me, Clayton will never be on the show again, and I'll delete all his episodes. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like, and share. Uh, join us on Patreon. Call our voicemail line. We want to hear your beautiful voices. Uh, yeah, and there's a lot of other stuff you can sign up for, the mailing list and buy a shirt and all that shit. Uh, okay. Uh, we're going to go into the wild and fight beasts. Wolves. Yes. D- uh, game genies. And sleep with madams and slay mm-hmm. wizards. And yep. Absolutely. Just normal man shit. All right. Yep. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> I think Capcom does a great job when they're adding like collaboration characters. What is- <laughs> <laughs> I've never been able to extend this way. <laughs> oh God, I got to get the helmet on. Oh God, oh God. Wait a minute. Our guy's a bad guy the whole time. I just think it's crazy that I'm better at video games now than when I was like 16. That is how you fix all the problems with all these games. I feel like toy distribution is so different than it used to be. They re-sculpted over the chest. They gave him a flak jacket over it. I laugh when I see Among Us, but I'm not having fun inside. I'm just, <laughs> it's a reflex. No, you took my job! <laughs> Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page. Talk, talking, talking about tapes.